Again, nobody asked me last week what a scale is. But I'm going to explain it to you anyway. If you look at a piano or any keyboard with love in your eyes, you can see that it's not really just a bunch of random keys. It's actually a single block of 12 keys being repeated throughout its range. And if you press the same key in two different blocks, of course they'll sound higher and lower relative to each other, but also they'll sound very similar. So similar in fact that if you play them together, they'll kind of merge into one single sound. Now this discovery that certain notes, despite obviously being different notes, can also sound so similar to each other, this discovery most definitely happened through the human voice first. Let's see how. Uh, 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 uh. Now what does this mean? This means that the entire audible frequency range can be seen as repeating blocks of the same set of notes. What actually happened there was that the fundamental frequency of the note you arrived at was double that of the note you started with. Now this relationship of doubling the fundamental frequency is called an octave. If you're wondering why there's an oct there which kind of implies the presence of an eight somehow, I'll tell you at the end. Now if you divide this octave range into 12 equal segments and gave each of them a note name, what you end up with are the same 12 notes in a block of that key keyboard which is repeated throughout. Now finding the notes of a scale becomes so much easier. Just play the notes numbered 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12 and that's the sound of the major scale. And if you play the notes numbered 1, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 11 you have the sound of the minor scale. Now never forget that the music always came first and then the names and the conventions. So different cultures in the world found ways of splitting this octave range into different notes and one of them was the major and the minor scales and if you notice both of them have eight notes and that is where the word octave comes from. And the standardization and the splitting up of an octave into 12 equal segments and fitting the major and minor scales into that came much later. Let me just leave you with one question. What is a raga? And how does it relate to these scales?